The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com. Today, we're going to take a look at how Italian design and use of space come together in the living quarters on the award-winning Monte Carlo Yacht 76. We'll start with a forward VIP stateroom. As we enter the stateroom, a corner-mounted hutch is just inside the door with shelf space and storage. The woodwork seen from the main deck continues below, as do the high overheads. Cabinet doors have leather inlay and when open activate a micro switch that turns on the LED lighting. Dual opening port lights to either side provide ventilation and natural light along with the overhead hatch. At night, the overhead balances provide subtle indirect lighting and naturally there are LED reading lights to either side of the Island Queen berth. The headboard has a nicely finished brushed teak surrounding a bronze relief art piece. Taking a closer look at the storage compartment doors, we can see the beautiful hand stitched leather work and notice the leather handles. The forward stateroom gets an ensuite head that presents an excellent example of creative use of space. The high resistance ceramic basin sink is on top of the cream travertine stone counter freeing up room for plenty of storage underneath the counter. There's a very wide mirror. Not only is there indirect lighting over the valances, but direct lighting over the mirrors reflecting light back into the space. The shower is fully enclosed and tiled on three sides. Water is delivered by an overhead rain shower type faucet and the flooring is all travertine stone with drains hidden underneath. Naturally, there's a seat so you can clean up while underway. Just across the companionway is a guest head that also doubles as a day head. Here the beautiful styling continues, but let's take a closer look at this Italian printed full grain leather weave inlay in the solid core door. Notice the heavy duty hardware, flush mounted hinges and complex door latches with deadbolt locks. Because this MCY 76 has a beam of 21 feet 10 inches or 5.65 meters, the design team at Monte Carlo Yachts was able to accommodate four good sized staterooms, all with ensuite heads. The two guest staterooms are basically mirror images of each other with twin berths that are able to slide together to form a queen. The designers were even able to accommodate dual opening port lights in each of the guest staterooms. As we make our way aft to the full beam master, notice how the companionway continues the same leather treatments inlaid into the solid wood and take a look at this deck. Beautiful Italian full grain leather specially designed for floors. At the bottom of the stairs is this beautiful bronze relief art piece that matches the headroom in the forward VIP stateroom and as you'll see in a moment, the headboard in the master. As we enter the master stateroom, the deck reverts back to plush 36 ounce carpeting and the leather inlay on the bulkheads and the brushed teak wood styling is still present. Looking to port, there's a well-lit walk-in closet with a fully mirrored bulkhead and a concealed safe. Moving aft is the head, which can be separated from the stateroom by a bulkhead door, but this owner chose to leave the space opened and conceal the water closet with toilet and bidet to one side and shower to the other. The shower really gets the full treatment of the cream travertine stonework and multiple spray heads lead up to the overhead rain shower and again, the drains are concealed underneath the stone. The hull side port lights are behind the mirror which slides from one side to the other and the indirect basin sink is double wide with two faucets and again made from the travertine stone. Here's more of the same bronze relief work we were talking about and an island queen berth is offset to provide a little more room. Indirect lighting surrounds the berth from below and is also recessed behind the overhead balances. The wall coverings and overhead materials are all top quality fabrics from Armani and Rebelli. To the starboard side is a corner settee, and this could also be set up as a desk space. Clearly, Monte Carlo Yachts is well deserving of the many awards that this beautiful yacht has received. And that's our look at how Italian styling and use of space come together in the living spaces of the Monte Carlo Yacht 76. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.